Hey guys, okay, let's talk about getting unstuck. Unstuck in your mindset, which can, we know, affect everything. Everything in our life, right? Our relationships, our business, our success. And so this is a topic that's really near and dear to my heart right now because it has not been an easy winter for me. I'm looking outside and it's snowing again. I'm so ready for spring. My body needs the sunshine. And so this is something I have to constantly stay on top of my mindset or I find myself down at the bottom of the spiral. So maybe you can relate with that. But mindset, as we know, 80% of our business, 80% of our every day is going to be something related to mindset. So there really is something to say for that. And it's really important that we're taking care of our mindset. So maybe you're like me where you're kind of feeling like you're stuck right now. Maybe you've been at a certain rank in your business for many years. Maybe you feel like you've been in the same exact place in your business for a while now. And you know what? It can be easy for us to get uneasy in that season, right? Maybe you start looking around. Maybe you start questioning yourself and your abilities. Maybe you start getting really anxious. Maybe you're telling yourself, I don't know if I'm cut out for this. First of all, stop, stop right there. Stop right there. Because the more that you allow yourself to start going down that path of what if, and I don't know why, and you're going to go down that path and it's going to be hard to return from it, guys. So number one, you need to stop yourself in your mindset spirals. Get out of your head is a fantastic book for that. But, um, you know, I feel like there's times in our business where we're feeling defeated or, you know, things are happening or not happening and we start to question ourselves. And it's almost like there's a little bitty fork in the road. Maybe you have been there where it's like you start to think about the easier route, like, hmm, maybe this would just be easier if I went this way instead. You know, maybe you're thinking about quitting quietly. That's the thing, right? Maybe you're thinking, I'll find something else. Or you know what? There's just more important things in my life right now. I'm just going to kind of back off for a while. Guys, that's such a pivotal moment. And there's been so many times in my head where I'm going, where I know I need to do something scary. Or I know a change is coming or I'm feeling defeated, had a really hard day with my business. And it's like, it's almost like you start to move in the easier direction. And then I catch myself and I'm like, what am I doing? No, no. The only way to not be successful here, you guys, is if you quit, is if you stop, is if you stop taking action, if you stop working on your mindset, if you give up on yourself. So if you feel yourself starting to lean, stop yourself. And you know what, you guys, perseverance is just simply deciding to keep going when things feel hard. Because we're all going to face hard things. Life is hard. This business is hard. It is not easy. It is sure rewarding, but it can be hard. And so perseverance, I don't know about you, but I want to be a person of perseverance. And that's just really important to me. And I hope it is for you too. But persevering is simply saying, nope, I'm going to keep walking on this path that I know that I'm on for a reason. And it's just continuing to do the hard things even when it feels hard. That's what perseverance is. And just know you're not alone. And so, you know, it really comes back to our thoughts and what we are telling ourselves on a daily basis. You have two choices, right? You can either be building yourself up, um, putting in good input every single day, which is going to impact our output, or... You can be by default tearing yourself down. If you are not consistently fueling yourself with belief, with diamond docs, with working through objections, with talking with your sponsor or a sideline, with um, filling yourself with mindset, affirmations, if you're not consistently doing that, by default, you are pulling yourself down. It's two choices. It's either continually building yourself up or tearing yourself down. Some of you needed to hear that. And, you know, another thing that's going to be super important here, you guys, is what, what I'd really start with. And this is what I've been doing lately in my life because I've been really just facing a lot of trials and turmoil in with my kids, with my marriage, just my business. I feel like, oh my gosh, God, what are you doing? <laughs> but my word for this year is also surrender. So I think I kind of uh, put that up myself, but I'm willing to grow. The, so, but it's gratitude. It's simply waking up when you're waking up and you're like, ugh, I just don't want to do this day. Start filling your brain, your mind with good things. 
I literally, while I'm washing my face in the morning in the mirror, am speaking out, God, I am thankful for my home. I'm thankful for this warm robe. I'm thankful for running water. I'm thankful that my husband is upstairs with my kids, right? I'm starting to speak life over myself and my mind and my body. And in return, I'm going to start to feel thankful, right? So do it whether you want to or not. I don't really feel like being grateful when I just woke up and I'm exhausted, right? Or I didn't have a good night's sleep or whatever it is, but I do it anyways. So gratitude is huge. Also, I'd be encouraging you to practice gratitude within your own business. If you are like me where you've been at the same spot for a while, which by the way, if you're staying steady and consistent, that's actually a really good thing, you guys. You're doing some good things. But you know, if you've been in the same place for a while and you're kind of getting antsy, start going into your virtual office and being grateful for every single person in there, for every single order that you see going through, for every single tool that Plexus is giving us right? Start being thankful for the things that you have. Because when we are grateful for what we have and God can trust us with what he, we have, he's going to give us more. So gratitude is a non-negotiable. And then go back and remember why you started. If you're struggling connecting with your vision and your why, let yourself go back to the beginning when you clicked enroll and you were excited and you started sharing and you went silver and you started getting paychecks in your email. Go back to that, revisit that excitement and those feelings and those emotions and then allow that to just fill up your cup. And then if you don't have a vision right now, if you don't have a why, if you don't know where you're going the year of 2023, well, no wonder you feel like you're stuck and floundering. You need to have a direction, right? We don't just get in the car and then just go drive around all day, all day without purpose. We have a destination in mind. So you need to know your destination. Allow yourself to dream big. Allow yourself to have big God dreams. What rank do you want to hit this year? How many people do you want to help? What paycheck do you want to bring in? Allow yourself to dream, set your intentions, set your destination so you know where you're going. And you know what? Vision boards are really helpful too. I have mine right there. I know exactly where I'm going. I see that blue sapphire. I see the word impact. I see the word Jesus. I see the word freedom. I see the word teamwork. So have that in front of you as a daily reminder. And then self-awareness, guys. Self-awareness is so huge as well. You've got to stop the comparison. Stop allowing yourself to look at other runners around you because you know what? Some have been running for five years and some have been walking for six months and some have been slowly jogging. You just don't know somebody else's story or their situation. It's so easy to assume, oh my gosh, she's getting another join. What am I not doing right? First off, you don't know how long it took her to get that join, right? And don't compare your chapter two to her chapter 24. Everybody's story is so different. What's important here is that you have your destination in mind you need to believe that you can reach that destination. Otherwise, it doesn't matter how much action you take. If you don't believe that you can get there, it's not going to happen. So maybe you're somebody that needs to continually build your belief about yourself. But <clears throat> self-awareness, like putting on blinders, focusing on your journey, knowing that you are so unique. You have your own strengths, your own personality. You bring your own fuel to your own people and your own team, right? So if you're not self-aware and you haven't taken the strengths test, um, Clifton Strengths 2.0, if you don't know your color personality, if you don't know your Enneagram, if you haven't taken the 16 personality test, start there. Start there because if you are self-aware and you know what you bring to the table here, what you bring to your team, it's going to be so much easier to stop comparing yourself because you know that God made you unique and has you in charge of your team for a reason. And then two more tips here, guys. Get excited. Figure out what amps you up. For some people, it might be dancing before you do your work. For some people, it might be watching a diamond doc. For somebody, it might be inspirational videos like Jim Rohn. For somebody, it might be talking to your best friend before you do your call. I don't know. But get amped up. Get excited so that you can bring energy to your business. And here's the thing, guys. You don't have to feel ready to do the work before you do the work. 
Um, my husband and I were just talking about this the other day. I don't know what it was. Oh, working on our marriage. And he's just like, well, I don't always feel like working on it. I'm like, I don't either. But when we work on it and we take the action and we do the devotions and the things, that's going to automatically connect us more. And then the feelings are going to be there, right? Same thing in your business. Go and do the work. Be faithful. Take consistent steps. Take consistent action every day. And then the emotions will come. So don't think, well, I'm just waiting till I feel 100% confident. Or I'm just waiting till I feel like 100% excited and motivated. Guys, it's not how it works. I guarantee in your own life, you don't feel excited 100% of time. But you still show up and you still mommy. You still show up and you still be a wife. You still show up to your 9 to 5 job, right? Treat this business like a business and show up consistently. And then last tip for you guys is just know that when you set a big goal like I have, when I set, you know, when I set my big goal, I feel like all hell broke out. Like everything, people were detoxing and returning their products and my workers were starting to not show up as much and life got in the way and my marriage started <laughs> blowing up and I'm just like, oh my gosh, Satan is really sneaky, guys. When he sees you setting a big goal and you're excited and you're ready to make an impact and you're ready to help more people, guys, he's going to try everything in his power to stop you, to delay you, to distract you, right? So just expect that um, adversity to come and just buckle up and be here for it, right? So many times the last week, I'm like, okay, this is happening, but this is happening, but but I'm still moving forward. I'm still going to work hard. I'm still going to show up. I'm still going to believe that I can do this. I'm st I am know that there's unlimited amount of people out there. So even if I had to join last week and they turned off their sub and they're no longer communicating with me, well, it's a good chance to reflect, right? And see if I need to change anything. But most importantly, I'm thinking, you know what? There's so many more people out there. I'm going to continue to go dig for my gold bricks. I'm going to continue to go take action. I'm going to get more joins. I'm going to do the right things with those people. So basically, persevere. Don't give up, guys. You are here for a reason. You are here for a reason. You belong. You have worth. You have value. You have strengths. You can reach your goals. You can achieve your dreams. But again, it's up to you. Take captive your thoughts. Daily basis, non-negotiable. I hope these tips are helpful for you guys and praying for you guys as you go into this year and your big goals.